Of whale. We got there, Fred. As if I didn't know. <laughs> I can't make the sonar sound. We well, need to. Boop, boop. <laughs> there you go. Boop, boop. Well, before we head up to Rogers Park to test this little sucker out, this is the Chasing Technologies Dory. Chasing Dory. Submersible. I guess you could call it an underwater drone. And um, these are now $500. Make a great Christmas present for somebody. Um, you can also get an extra kit, which includes a little towel, chasing towel. A oh, and by the way, when you take this out of the water, you're going to need to dry it off because yeah. it's just dripping water everywhere. Well, it's got a backpack a and a tether, which you can put onto the buoy, the Wi-Fi buoy. So if it gets out of range, you can pull it back pull in. Pull it on back. So, yeah, as you had mentioned, one of the things I had. Uh, found an issue and when you get it wet it takes forever to get all the water out of it and um, one of the things that helped i think is i took a hair dryer low setting and blew it in here and that helped because i wouldn't want to put this away with water still trapped inside especially if i had it in salt water and uh, also one of the things i wanted to talk about real quick is the app and the app is identical whether you're using android whether you're using a tablet or uh, iphone and uh, the app allows you to control it. it's a little takes a little getting used to in the beginning but as you can see you can put your fingers on uh, the app and if it's on the right hand side that controls either the up or down or right and left depending on how you have it set on the left side It'll do the opposite to, you know, the banking or whatever. Depending, you can set that up and change it. And uh, you can turn the video on and off, take still pictures with the app. It's got a high setting and a low setting for speed, whether you want it to go fast or slow. You can uh, turn the drone on and off. And you can also turn the lights on and off with the simple touch of the app. So... Why don't we go ahead and uh, get ready and head up to Rogers Park? Sure. All right, let's go. Well, hi, Fred and I are here at Rogers Park. No relation. No. <laughs> it's not Fred Rogers Park. It's Rogers. Rogers. Well, no D. We anyway. are uh, a few miles uh, downriver from the famous Wiki Wachi Springs, uh, mermaids. Maybe we're going to get a mermaid today. We're here. Not unless one to, escaped. No, you know, we never know. <laughs> kind of flown out down the river. This we got the, the Chasing Dory, and this is from Chasing Technologies, and this is a underwater, we call it drone, uh, submarine. Submersible. Uh, it's submersible. So, but it's a drone submersible because you remote control it. Yeah, it comes in this nice case, and there it is. It's the, uh, there's the uh, Dory. Now this has, uh, yeah, it's all built in and sealed. It's got uh, several motors that'll let you basically fly through the water um, the only thing it can let's see it can go up down it can actually tilt up to 45 degree angle stay there you can set the depth and have it remain at a certain depth one thing it can't do though is it can't do sideways interesting it can yaw it can tilt up I and guess down. I, I don't even think it can bank but yeah it can uh, tilt up and down um, but since there's no jets, there's no way to go this way. Move but side you, to side. you can turn it. And um, this comes complete. Let's see, it has the charging, the battery's built in. It's all totally sealed. You can't remove that. It takes about two hours to charge the battery, and it's good for one hour. Um, then it comes with this float, if I can get it out here. Uh, okay. This contains a Wi-Fi, and it tethers with a 49-foot, about about 50-foot cable to the dory. And uh, this Wi-Fi is good for up to 50 feet. Unfortunately, it's not going to give you a three or four miles like a regular drone. There's there's your tether cable. That's the tether cable, and um, that connects into the buoy and into the dory. Now. This cable is about 50 feet, approximately 50 feet, 15 meters. And uh, so the dory can get 15 meters from the buoy, and the buoy can be up to 15 meters from the smartphone 
or tablet that you use to control it with. Beyond that, you may lose a signal. So uh, one of the things that you can get is they have a backpack signal or backpack uh, available for it. And you can put a line, like a 50 foot line around here. The only thing is I wish they had some kind of a clip on this to clip the line. They do not have that. So you have to wrap it around the connector for the tether cable which means you're pulling against that uh, cable. But that means you can get up to 100 feet from the um, actual submersible. That's 50 feet approximately on the Wi-Fi, plus another 50 feet on the cable. Again, 15 meters on both of those. So we're here and the water is fairly clear. We're gonna give this a try out, unlike uh, my swimming pool, <laughs> which... <laughs> So Fred has agreed to uh, dress up as a mermaid. He's got this body. Uh, I did. Body f oh, you, you didn't know? Oh, I thought you I got the memo. That. No, oh, I didn't see the email for that one. Oh, well, we're, I guess we're going to have to discuss this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the water here is fairly clear. This was the clearest water we had uh, close to where we, uh, to the Photobug Studios. So we came up here. But and it would be merman. Mer oh, not mer mermaid. Merman, that's true. Sorry. Well, anyway, we're going to go right. ahead and uh, let's get this little sucker wet. Yep. All right, so the way this works, there's really no on and off with it. What you do is take this tether and it goes into, and there's only one way it can go in. It's got an O-ring seal in here to seal it up. Now, the moment we connect it into the dory, it's going to immediately come on. So let's go ahead and... Uh, as you can hear, hear it beeps up. And it's good to go. Now all we have to do is connect the Wi-Fi in here to our control device. There we go. To our device and we're good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and launch it here. And then and see what we you get. basically see a little green. Yeah, and there's a little, and I don't know if you can see the, the green it's light hard to on see, here. But there's but a green light here a green and a green light, light in on there. That shows so that everything's they're working, yeah. Good. So let's go ahead and put it in water. Right, well there we go um i think yeah it'd make a nice little gift hey, the, the, the dory chasing dory and um so if you have any questions uh any comments if you have one or if there's or if you'd like to have one and you'd like to know more about it yeah you're not getting this one <laughs> well, this the right, was originally the right price this was originally a kickstarter project now the, the uh, chasing technologies has a more expensive one that has more capability yes. but at three times the price yeah. and this one i believe is selling now for 4.99 
and um, the other model I believe is closer to fifteen hundred dollars. So you but know what's interesting? Be, you don't have to be a photography enthusiast to want to use this. No, there you, were several people who boater. were really into fishing you know, th- and said, a, "Boy, this would be really great for." Uh, being able to kind of check out an area yeah, for the your favorite fishing hole, or if yeah. you're a boater and you need to check the uh, bottom of your boat without getting wet, and here's one way to do and it. And there was so. a diver there that day that was going to go down to one of the sinks, and he was yep. talking about, man, that might be pretty cool to even take out there to kind of explore. Yeah, the only trouble with that sink, it's like 160 yeah, and I don't think it would go deep. that deep. This won't go that deep. No, but, but he could go down a little ways into it. Some, It'd be kind of cool. You're so. not going to get any fish down that deep. No. No, All right. but it would be interesting to look at the rock formation and well, again, things like that. Uh, if you're not uh, subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified when we upload new videos. And that's all I got. You can get the last word in. Okay. Thanks. <laughs>